Lord. Welcome everybody to our Thursday night call. Uh, normally, for those of you that are on here, Thursday night is a training call where we kind of mastermind, share ideas with each other, um, how to help more people achieve a healthier, more fulfilling lifestyle. So that's what we're doing every Thursday night. But tonight we have a special guest, Victoria, uh, as well as Lori, who are going to share some amazing things with you guys tonight. Uh, we have a bunch of people hopping on live on the Zoom, but we also I have uh, in our team page, so we made sure we had plenty of room on the Zoom call. I've got um, like Facebook Live up. So there's people watching on Facebook Live in our team page, and there's people on the Zoom as well. So we got actually, we got quite a few people. So we're pretty, pretty excited. So um, I just want to give a quick reminder. We're less, about six weeks away from National Coach, uh, the, the yearly Team Beachbody Coach Summit in Nashville. Uh, 25,000 of us are going to be working out with Sean T, Tony Horton, Sagi Kalev, uh, doing the workouts and learning from some of the best coaches, um, learn how to reach more people, how to help people better in our challenge groups, how to help people get results that they're out there and looking for. So with that being said, I don't want to take too much uh, time, but just briefly, uh, I'm Scotty Hobbs. I'm Lori Velez, coach, and it's been awesome watching her growing to an amazing coach over the past few years. It seems like yesterday my family visited her out in Florida, um, but time flies, and we've, we've been able to help a lot of people um, over the past few years um, get healthier, both physically, uh, spiritually, mentally, and financially. So I'm going to hand the, the call now over to Lori uh, so that her and, and Victoria can give you guys some uh, amazing inspiration tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much, Scotty. Um, I'm so happy to be on this call tonight talking to you guys about this amazing thing that has entered into our lives. And um, we we'll have a slideshow for you, but I'm going to hold off on that for a second because I'm going to introduce you to this amazing woman. And I want you to see her close up instead of showing the slideshow and you just see her little tiny picture because you need to hear the inspiration in her voice. And I want you to really get a good look at her face when she tells the story. First, let me briefly tell you about myself. Um, I live in Tampa, Florida right now. I'm from Rochester, New York, as you can tell from my accent. Um, Beachbody coaching kind of just fell into my lap. It was something that I did because I liked the workouts. And then I thought, okay, I'll, I'll try the Shakeology. I'll definitely try it. So I thought, okay, let me do it with a discount. And let me sign up for coaching to get the discount. And then what happened was I started falling in love with going into these challenge groups and talking to people. So my story is I'm an attorney and I spent a lot of money to get to that place and I reached where I wanted to go. I had the, the private you know, corner office, I had the expense account, I had the multiple houses, the, the cars, going on vacations in Europe, living that lifestyle I wanted, but why wasn't I happy? Why wasn't I feeling what I wanted to feel towards life. And that's something that I really struggled with for over a decade. Like I should be happy. Why aren't I happy? So I used to like Google all the time, like what else can I do with my life? Because I didn't see that being the answer for me, even though I invested so much time into it. So I know I was working out, I was enjoying working out. I remember I used to just say like, God, I wish I could have some type of job where I can like work out and like stay fit. I'm like, wouldn't that be amazing? So I just started kind of getting money here and there, you know, and it doesn't, you know, it's, it's, it depends on the time you put into it. It depends how much you care about people. That's what's going to be like the money you get back. And so I just started, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty's frozen then. I just wanted to, um, so this started happening for me and I started getting into, you know, every single night instead of like being depressed and like watching Jersey Shore or work until 11 o'clock at night, I was getting online and getting to these challenge groups. And for the first time in my life, I felt like I was helping people. I was talking to people. I was mentoring them. I was telling them about the workouts I was doing and they were telling me about their story. And when I took the focus off of me and put it on other people, that's where I started to feel passion for life. That's where I started to feel energy. And I just felt so amazing. And so, then, you know, the years went by. I still kept working at my law firm. And then there was some point where I was saying, I think I can do this full time. 
I think I see the potential in this opportunity. So um, a month before I turned 40, I had a little baby boy, and I never thought I was going to have a baby, and I had him. And Scotty, I'm going to cry for you. <laughs> he was so amazing, and I was working still every day at the law firm, and I missed him rolling over. And let me tell you guys, when you never think you're going to have a child, and you have one, and you're missing these opportunities because you're working for someone else. It's a hard pill to swallow. And I've decided, I gave myself two days, and I walked out of that law firm, and I never went back. And I decided to do this, and I wasn't making as much as I was as an attorney, but it didn't matter because I know, one, I can get there, and two, that I'm feeling passion, I'm feeling amazing, and I'm happy. You know, my husband's happy. Everyone's happy because I'm, you know what they say, happy wife, right? Makes a happy life. And I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. And now at this point, I, you know, I'm a two-star diamond. I'm, after I left um, my job, my husband lost his job. And so all we had was our beach body income. And Lo and behold, it saved the day. I was paying for the mortgages on the house. I was paying for the groceries. I was paying for the car, paying for my, my, our insurance. And so I want you guys to know that this seems like a crazy thing, but it's an amazing thing. And I'm going to get through and tell you about the nuts and bolts about coaching, but I need you guys to know something. I need you to know that it's not about the nuts and bolts of what I'm going to show you on a slide. It's about what you have inside. It's about your passion. It's about, can I make my life better than it is right now in any way, shape, or form? And if I can, then this may be the answer for you. If you feel passion for improving your own life, your relationships, improving the life of your family, and pretty much everyone you bump into making their life better. That's pretty much what this is. So what I want to do now is I want to introduce you to this amazing lady. Let me make sure I can see her video. Make sure she's online. There she is. Okay. I'm about to introduce you to this amazing lady named Victoria. She is someone who, um, she's from Rochester, New York, where I'm originally from. And she recently joined our coaching team within the last month. But I'm so proud of her for making that decision because you see, she's kind of, kind of nationally known at this point. She was on the Today Show. She was on the cover of a magazine, um, Woman's World. And um, it's just been amazing to have her decide that she lost 186 pounds and she wasn't just going to stop there. You know, she got to where she's happy with herself, where she doesn't feel like she needs to lose any more weight. She's not going to just stop there and live her life. She took that extra step and decided to become a Beachbody coach to give back to others. I mean, and that's just amazing. So what I want to do is hand it over to her because I want you to hear about how she started out, how she lost 186 pounds, guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's amazing how she did it for her daughter and why she decided to become a Beachbody coach. So, Victoria, I think you're unmuted. Hello. Hi. Can you hear hey. me? Yeah. So just, you know, speak up and just kind of tell people a little bit about your story because they want to hear it. Well, hi, I'm Victoria. And basically, um, my whole life, I've been very heavy ever since I was about I would say it started when I was four, uh, getting made fun on the playground, you know, telling me you're too fat to play with us. And so my whole life, I was pretty much crushed by my weight um, and judged for it by my family, by my friends. Um, so it's, it's always been a heavy burden I've always carried with me for my whole life. Um, so basically uh, I became like Miss Personality, the life of the party, very, very friendly, which is great um, because I just wanted people to really, really like me and I just really wanted to be accepted. 
So my whole life, I've, I've always wanted to lose weight. I just never really knew how. Um, and then I became pregnant and I had my daughter and then um, the pounds packed on even more. Um, just, you know, the stress of being a mom, the good stresses, the bad stresses, and the guilt of being a working mom really tore me apart, Lori. I can totally relate to you about missing um, your child turning over. I mean, that just made me cry. Um, so I completely understand that. And um, basically, we made a trip. We made plans to go to Disney World. And um, I started to panic because the plane tickets were bought. Um, we already had our Disney passes and, um, I would say seven years ago before we planned this trip, my boyfriend and I went to Darien Lake, it's, or it Six Flags now, um, and we went to get on a Superman roller coaster and I was asked to, to get off of it because the bar wouldn't close. So that just kept replaying in my head. Like, what if that happens in Disney World with my daughter? What if, um they're gonna ask me to buy two plane seats. What if I'm just in such panic, I can't even go on this trip. So I really started to freak out and that's when I knew I had to do something. Um, so I, after talking with my boss, I downloaded an app. It was a free app, my fitness pal. And from there, it just took off. Um, I logged in for well over 800 days in a row. I've never missed a day since I joined. Um, logging into my fitness pal on that first day made me step on a scale, um, which I, if I ever had to step on a scale at a doctor's office, I never looked. I didn't want to know. I do know that when I was pregnant, right before I gave birth, no lie, I was in the 360s, and that, but that was pregnant. And then after, I was around 350. Um, so basically, I had to step on that scale. I found out how much I weighed. And um, I found out a calorie goal. And ever since then, it's been baby steps, just small little changes literally that I have done. Um, keeping a food journal has been number one and adding fruits and vegetables into my life is another huge thing. But you know, it didn't all happen overnight. I was still eating pizza and going to Red Lobster at first and um, getting a really sugary cocktail with the Red Lobster meal you know, within that first month, it was just really logging and then having that realization of what nutrition is and what, you know, what else I could eat for much more satisfying meals for less calories. And I just started, you know, really helping myself with the internet and researching nutrition and food and ways to lose weight. Um, what should my BMI be? how much should I weigh? What's a good goal? Because at first I thought, okay, I, my goal is 300 pounds. If I could lose 50, that would be a miracle. Um, and then when you start losing weight, it just keeps you going. And I just kept going and I never gave up because I weighed myself every week. Um, and it held me accountable. And I saw the pounds fall off because when you're morbidly obese, like I was, the weight literally falls right off. Now the, the real work um, has started for me because I've noticed the smaller you get, the, the harder it is to lose weight. It becomes more of a challenge. Just because when you have no activity and you start and you're eating, most of your meals are fast food, um, restaurants, um, caloric beverages. When you stop all that, I really stopped the, I just went to water and really started watching when I ate. I'm telling you the first week I lost five pounds. Um, so I was dropping weight really fast and it just kept me going. And when I um, went to Disney World, I, I got down to 280 pounds. So I started in February, and by August, I was around 280 and had no problem booking through those parks. I was ahead of everybody. I was excited. I was so proud. I was probably um, a size 22. I, I was a, a 26 down to 22. I was so happy. And I, I was moving. So that was my why. And now I do it for myself. Um, really, my daughter is the reason why I started. And now I do it for me because I'm, I feel really, really, really happy. And I'm really happy I found uh, Beachbody. 
That's so awesome, Victoria, to hear you um, tell us your story. And I know you've told me so many times how your, your daughter's proud of you. And so let me ask you, why, why did you join as a beach body coach? Well, a couple different reasons. Um, lately, I have been speaking nonstop. Not right. they work up the lately, I've been um, thinking nonstop about toning. Um, because the best way I could put it, and it's very embarrassing to say this, but I'm to this point in my life where I'm just an open book, but I still have the body of a 350 pound woman being, I'm just a smaller version because I've never toned. I've walked my, my weight off and rode an exercise bike, a stationary bike in the basement. Um, so I have, um, you know, a tummy and some flabby arms and flabby legs they're much smaller and I'm still very, very proud and very confident in clothing, but, um, in a bathing suit, I'm not as confident and, um, I was ready to tone. So that's always been in the back of my mind. And so for like a year, I've been doing like, uh, curling with the dumbbells. So I've got some okay definition on the top, but the, the bottoms of my arms are pretty saggy. So that's been in the back of my mind. And I know I've known Lisa Wilcox for over a decade and this girl has not given up on me she's been she's been trying to get me um to help myself and help others for years now and um it just kind of happened she sent me an email and she said you know you have such an inspiring story and I'm already I've always helped people um via email and just connecting and she said look this is this is what you can do for yourself and for, for others. Well, I, so I started the 21 day fix with Shakeology and I can't begin to tell you, I am, I didn't think I could get any happier. I am happier than ever because now I've learned how to tone and I've only been doing it for two weeks, but I'm so happy because I've got a plan now and I'm going to get to, I know I'm going to get to where I want to be. And I always thought, um, I'll never have abs. I'll never have muscles. Um, but I'm almost thinking I will. I mean, I just feel so strong right now, and I, I just can't begin to tell you how happy I've lost. I went from 166.6 when I started on June 4th, and this morning I weighed myself, and I'm under 163. So that, for me, is huge. I've been the same weight for months now. I've been at a plateau. So just the toning, I took my measurements for the first time on June 4th. I haven't checked those again yet. But it's just um, the portion control bins. It's just brought a whole new flavor to my life. And um, I'm about to step it up again and really blow people's minds and really blow my mind. And I'm going to have a whole nother story to tell. So I'm just really excited. <laughs> That's awesome, Victoria. And it's cool that already you've started your own challenge group and you're opening up to, to everyone. Um, everyone to come in, you know, especially people that haven't worked out in years or people that are, you know, considered obese or have like more than a hundred pounds to lose. Um, you've already opened up this challenge group and have invited people in and are um, mentoring them. And um, it's just so amazing for you to, for me to see. And it's, I'm so happy that you found this platform that you can use to continue to help other people the way you were helping them before but also provide for your family like right. if you wanted. And, and that's what I was praying for um, a lot. I've, I've wanted to, I've kept saying, I want to start my own business. I want to start my own business. It's been in the back of my head. I've got, a, I have a passion really, and I have a lot of knowledge and I'm already helping people. <clears throat> but it's amazing when you can <clears throat> help others and help yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it truly is. Oh, this is, that is amazing. Now, if anyone, um, I'm going to get into the little bit of the nuts and bolts of Beachbody coaching, and I promise I won't take too much of your time because I know it's late. If anyone has questions, go ahead and put them in the chat box. Um, and I'm going to, as I share my screen, um, let Victoria get a glass of water. I know how it is. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, and the best part is oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I, quit, I quit smoking three weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, so this 21 day fix has really, um, really been my saving grace because I've needed it really bad. 
to help with um, quitting smoking was harder for me than losing weight. So that I'm probably, and I did that of course for my daughter too, you know, but um, so I, I just am so happy about this 21 day fix thing. It gives me a whole new focus. <clears throat> and she actually said to me um, that she's replaced Shakeology. With oh yeah. Cigarettes, that she's actually addicted to Shakeology now, which is yeah. a healthy addiction. I know I was talking with a girl that I work with who's a beach body junkie and I'm like, I don't know if I should um, be having my shakes in the morning because then all I think about all day is having another one. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't really have the calories to, to have all these things. So I might have to switch that up because I'm thinking about it all day long. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so what, what was the hardest part of your journey, do you think? Oh, do you think the cigarette smoke was the hardest part or what was the hardest part of your weight Maybe loss journey? It's so recent in my mind. Um, yeah, quitting smoking, I wouldn't that was really, really rough. Um, be, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I would say the hardest part is if there's many different things that have to come into play. Um, and it's so true when <clears throat> I always say, oh, it's the small things that count. Um, you have to be flexible and you have to keep um, just being honest with yourself and continually wanting every day to grow and to change. And change is hard for people and it was, it's always been hard for me. I've always been scared of change. So I would say accepting every day, you gotta change something and you gotta keep, you gotta keep growing. Cause I'm still changing. I've lost 186 pounds, but I'm stepping it up again. Like you just gotta keep switching it up. And I do that with my food too. I switch things up here. I, I try different things and I guess, the hardest thing is being flexible, you know, and going outside your comfort zone and, um, you know, just tough love on yourself. That's really been the hardest thing. Okay. Now, what would you say to someone that I'm going from these awesome questions that are coming in, someone that keeps putting off their, their health journey. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear that. We're having a wicked uh, thunderstorm here in Tampa. Someone that keeps putting off their health journey. You know, you, they want to start, but they, they were so motivated. They'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes, and they don't do it. What, what's your advice to someone in that position? Well, my motivation's always been my daughter. You have to, you got to think about other people at some point in life. Um, because if you're not living, and that's what really made me quit smoking, too, is what are you doing to yourself? Are you, it's, there's selfish things, selfish choices and you don't want to leave somebody prematurely or affect someone's life because you don't love yourself enough to start that journey. And I noticed um, when I started loving my, myself and now that I'm full of confidence and joy, it really rubs off on my daughter. And you, if you have people around you watching you, everything you do is rubbing off on people. So you just you got to think of it that way. It's that serious. You know, don't, don't take the easy way out. Okay. That's what I had to start doing is really, I used to be so lazy. I didn't, I would think of what, you know, ways not to have to keep going up and down the stairs. It's like little, you have to do these little mental exercises. Like, Oh, I don't want to get that right now. I don't want to get up. No, get up. <laughs> it's like little things like that at my job. I, I'm a hundred times better because mentally I push myself. Like if I catch myself being lazy, it, that's what it is. You don't, you got to mentally push yourself not to be lazy over anything. It's not just food or, or exercise. It's every task you're doing throughout the day becomes a mental exercises and everything else falls into place. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely so true. So what would you say to someone like, what is, I know you, you're a recent beach body coach. I mean, you haven't been one that long. Like what is your experience been with it so far like what do you what do you think of the whole thing I mean from you you're you're in the challenge groups I mean do you like the atmosphere yeah I mean I like the support I just really like helping people I've <laughs> always been a people person and I got to speak with someone last night with you um mm -hmm. and I'm meant to be doing that it just from what so far in this short journey I know that this is this is where I'm meant to be this is where God wants me um I have a story to tell and to share and I have inspiration to give and not only that support because um, 
I can really relate to pretty much anybody um, because I know that we're all a lot alike and I, I, I'm, I'm smart enough and humble enough to know that, that I'm no better than anybody else and that I'm a lot like others. And, you know, when I was talking to someone last night, she's like, oh, I didn't strike you as the type um, to smoke. Well, the funny thing is you, that's what people think they know something about somebody. We just assume things about people. You'd be shocked if you really knew people's stories um, and how much we all really go through, you know? And mm -hmm. I, I'm just happy and excited to do that with people and, and blow their minds and be like, oh, I, I really understand. And I'll, you know, just speak with people and relate to yeah. them. And so, and yeah, then that's so true. And I know you were meant to do this too. And, um, cause you really do have a gift of, um, you know, just talking to people. And I think a lot of people want to do that. I think a lot of people ultimately want to help other people. And this is a, this is a good way to do it. So someone is asking, what's the first beach body program you did? And I think I know the answer to that. It's 21 day fix, right? Right. Yeah. And I think that's the first one you actually said to me last week, um, and you can explain more. You said to me that you wish you had these tools available to you earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you, what do you mean by that? Oh, I would have had a killer <laughs> ASS body. <laughs> I am so mad about that. <laughs> I've been doing this for two and a half years, this weight loss. I would have been like, oh. So, what, what, so what, what were you doing? Like walking and like. Walking and riding an exercise bike, which is great, but. No toning. I didn't even know how. Okay. <laughs> and I, if I had a gym membership, I wouldn't know what to do. This, I, it blows my mind how great it is. I mean, I, I really can't explain it. I'm, I love it. I, ha I haven't missed a day. And because um, I was getting really bored with the walking and the riding of the bike, um, and every day is a different video. You don't have to do it seven days a week. I think it's about like a six day program with a day of rest but I really look forward to it. Um, and like, just when you think it's so hard, then you got another day that's not so bad. And like what other people may think is hard, you may find easy. And it just switches it up. It makes you very well-rounded. Um, it made me realize how out of shape I am. You, know, you lost 186 pounds. What do you mean you're unhealthy? I'm unhealthy. I'm not in shape. There's a, there's a really big difference. Weight has nothing to do with anything. Well, let me I, ask you a question because, uh, and not to interrupt you, were you finished? I was going to say, I, I'd be happy at a size 14 with a tone body. I would have been happy, mm -hmm. you know? Now I'm a so, size eight without a tone body. So, you know. So a lot of people don't want to start beach body coaching because they're like, well, I'm not at my goal yet or goal figure. And I, I know we were talking yesterday that even people that like society considers thin, don't feel like they're at their, their goal weight. I mean, do you think there's some merit with becoming a coach, even though you're not completely there at your journey? I mean, you don't feel like you're done. You reach so many more people when you're in that position, because I'm going to tell you right now, um, most of America is overweight. Most of us are going through the struggle um, and people can relate to that. But if you are fit, you're just a perfect example. So either way it can work for you, but it's definitely going to work for you. <laughs> it doesn't matter mm -hmm. because yeah. you're on a journey with your friends. I'm on a journey with people right now. I'm still on a journey. I'm not, it's, it's really helping yourself and helping others. Even if you are at your peak, you still have to keep going. People don't realize when you're at your peak, that's the hardest. That is the hardest job you'll ever have is keep is staying at that peak. And, you know, the smaller you get, the harder it is. It really is. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, but it's, but you're right that we have the tools now and that's, and that's what's cool. I mean, because me personally, I've, you know, I lost 45 pounds in the last two years, um, but I'm still building up muscle because now I'm, I'm going to be 42 this month. And so now I need to build up muscle and do things like that. So there really is something for everyone. Oh, yeah, you won't get bored. It makes you, the program I'm on, I feel like I'm going to be so well-rounded. <laughs> um, and I just, I'm, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to, to share my results. My, I mean, it's going to take a lot for me to share my before picture because, like I said, 
it, it's not something I would ever want to put out there, but if I promise people, if I get to where I want to be, I will show you guys the pictures. But, well, I know you're going to get to where you want to be and you already, um, you look fabulous, but it's not only about outside appearances. It's, I know that you've changed inside and I know that you've made your daughter proud, uh, your family proud, and you've inspired so many on a national level. Um, I see the people writing on your Facebook page, so inspired by you. And, and it's, it doesn't, like you were saying before, it doesn't take anyone special. You're not different than anyone else. All of us have the power to inspire people. And that's what's so cool is we have that power inside us. We just have to start doing it and start focusing on other people. Mm -hmm. And that's awesome. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to share a slideshow because I know some people are asking like nuts and bolts questions. And I want to be able to um, share that stuff with you. So, you know, we went through. And so basically what we're going to do is switch the focus. But if you have more questions for Victoria, go ahead and put them there. Or feel free to message her and reach out to her. I don't want to keep you guys on too long. So I'm going to go through this part really fast but thank you victoria so much for talking to us a little bit about your personal journey and um stay on the line because we're going to be going through and talking about um this part right here and i see more chats are coming but i'm not going to be able to look at them right now okay so um i pretty much went through my story but i want to show you some of my you know this is me in the green before i had my baby i mean uh, after i had him and then um I'm back and I also got my husband involved. So um, that's what's cool about Beach Bodies, you get others involved. So I want to show you some of Victoria's pictures because you didn't guys get, didn't get the chance to see them. So uh, up there on the uh, upper right, Victoria, is that you when you started your journey, right? Yes, that was like a couple weeks before. I went to um, Disney on Ice and I was in so much pain and the chair is very uncomfortable. It was horrible. But yeah, that was really bad. That was at my biggest. Okay. And I mean, it's, and it's, it's, look at her on the cover of Woman's World. Um, look at her on the Today Show with Hoda, <laughs> who I love. So and it, it, with, it, I'm sure this like blows your mind. Do, do you look at these pictures and it just blows your mind? Oh my God. I feel so weird saying this, but everyone asked me that, but I <laughs> I feel like it's meant to be. I really do. Like, I feel, I feel very blessed, but I've, I'm very spiritual person and I just, have, I, I, I don't want to sound crazy, but, um, <laughs> I really had like a spiritual connection this whole time. And I just knew that, um, really great thing happened. Yeah. So it, it blows my mind. I'm very proud. I just, well, that's like the power of positive thinking. and that's I really positive. am a positive thinker. Yes. And that's, that's wonderful for Beachbody coaching and, and just, you know, putting yourself out there and helping others. So it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. Well, we're so proud of you. And let me just kind of explain a little bit more um, just about Beachbody. So pretty much like Beachbody was was um, formed in 1998 by uh, Carl Deichler and John Congdon. And they... You know, I'm sure everyone has heard of like P90 and P90X and all these things. And so Beachbody was known as having these awesome um, workouts, workout programs, but they also had message boards. And what they've noticed was the founders of Beachbody noticed that people got on these message boards and they helped each other and they were giving advice to each other. And they said, wait a second, there's something here. And that's where Team Beachbody was launched. And Team Beachbody is us. It's the coaching network. And that's where it came. And since then, I mean, it's exploded. I mean, you guys know about all these amazing programs and insanity, all the different flavors of Shakeology. I mean, when it was only green, I didn't try it. But when they started branching out, <laughs> I was jumping on board. And I've done like almost every one of these programs. And there's really something for everyone now. It's not just intense workouts anymore. It's, you know, Pilates. It's Tai Cheng, which I did after I had my baby, where I had to get a massage every week because I couldn't move my back. And I have herniated discs, bulging discs. I was seeing a, a neurologist because I couldn't move my hands. And I was going for all these stress tests and everything, but I decided to do Insanity. And after two months of doing Insanity, I built up my muscles and I stopped seeing a neurologist. So all these little things happen, all these little stories, you know, just from working out. Um, and Beachbody is an amazing company because, you know, it's just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, 
health and fitness, that's at the forefront of our minds. It's something that everyone needs. And that's why it's so wonderful that we're doing something that truly helps other people. And that's just so amazing about it. So basically, why is Team Beachbody unique? And it's unique because it's not a company that just focuses on a shake or just focuses on a workout. We focus on fitness. We focus on nutrition, um, peer support, which we support each other. We're not, we're not competitive at all. And challengers, we support each other. And there's awesome rewards. I mean, I've been on a vacation every year, except the one year I was pregnant, um, just from, you know, winning these trips from Beachbody and by putting in, you know, the work that it took to win these trips. And it was just, um, it's just been amazing. One thing that surprises me about Beachbody, which I didn't think I was going to get were the friendships. I didn't realize I would have this whole community of people that I was going to become friends with. And I was going to meet people like Victoria. Victoria is not my personal coach. She signed up under one of my personal coaches. So Victoria and I probably would have never met in real life. And now look at that. Look, she's touched my life and it's because of Beachbody and Beachbody brings us together. And so, um, as you guys all know, Shakeology is amazing. I, to tell you my Shakeology story, um, someone sent me a sample. I tried it and I threw it away. I thought it was horrible. And um, four months later, I said, you know what, Laura, you got to buck up. And I tried it again and um, I started liking it, but it started making me feel better. And because I was an attorney, I had so many digestive problems and I had, um, I was coming into the law firm and had Tums in my desk and like popping Tums in the morning. Like I look like a, like a TV show, like what a lawyer should be. Like that's exactly <laughs> what I look like. It was ridiculous. And it was just so unhealthy. And my, my cravings, you guys, mm -hmm. I would eat, I wouldn't just eat an Oreo. I would eat a box of Oreos and Shakeology saved the day. And if it didn't change me, if it didn't change my life, I wouldn't be right here right now doing this, doing this webinar for you guys, because I know what I've experienced it. And now before my husband um, made me make the shake for him and now he, he does it himself because he says, I don't know how to make it. So he makes it his way. I make it my way. And the reason why Shakeology works so well, because it's got all this stuff in here. I don't know if you guys been to Whole Foods lately and tried to get some of these healthy things here and there. They're expensive, and it's hard to know what to put in your body. It's hard to know which one works for what. And so they got it all formulated, and they got it all put in there. And what's so cool about it is it feeds your body because it's hard to reduce calories and not reduce nutrition also because our bodies need to be fed. and so this helps stop the cravings because we're finally getting the nutrition that we need, which is amazing. So, and I know I'm going fast guys. I'm from New York. I'll just buzz right through this. So like I said, there's something for everyone. Ultimate reset is a three week program. No working out. I did that guys. It got rid of like that arm fat that I never thought I'd ever get rid of. Um, that's an amazing one. Victoria, this is one you're going to need to look into as ultimate reset. If you want to get, Really, really, really crazy results. It's amazing. Um, Three-day refresh. We have um, T25, only 25 minutes, 10-minute program. All these products are just so amazing. My husband actually said to me the other day, he's like, is there anything you don't like that's Beachbody? I'm like, yes, there is. I don't like vanilla shake algae, okay? That's one thing I don't like. So, and what's so amazing is people actually get results. And these are just people that no one knows. Like in my challenge groups, I have people that have lost like over 60 pounds and I'm, I'm constantly seeing people losing 20, 30 pounds. And what's so cool is you get your challenge pack in the mail and it tells you what workout to do, tells you what to eat, especially if you're doing the bins, you got your shake and it's like magic in this little box. And that's what's so cool about it is because you get real results and we're not telling people to buy something that they're going to waste their money on. We're telling people, we're giving people a lease on life and saying, this is going to make you feel better. And that's what's so cool about it. I can feel proud knowing that I'm asking someone to join me because I know it's going to make their life better because it's made my life better. And so, um, we go to these events. Another one of the reasons I signed up is I don't tell people that much is they have this really cool event called summit where thousands of people work out on the streets. And I so wanted to do that because 
when I started, and you know, I feel embarrassed saying this in front of Victoria because I know you had so much more weight to lose than I did. But like you said, everyone has their own issues with their own bodies. And when I started Beachbody, I told my husband I would never be in a bikini. And I was probably only 20 pounds overweight. But for me, I was like, no, I know I'm never going to be in a bikini. And I'm just, and he's like, aren't you too young for that? And I'm like, no, I'm like, no, because I don't see it happening. And let me tell you, when I did my first programs, after the first year, I was like buying bikinis at um, fancy shops and it was just, and it was just so amazing. And when I went to Summit, the reason why I'm telling this, because I went to Summit, you know, I was wearing these little mini dresses and I was like, man, you know, this stuff does work. And so it was really cool to have that and do that workout in the streets with thousands. And we're going to be doing that again in Nashville this year, you guys. So, um, this is what a coach is and what a coach isn't. You don't have to be an expert, obviously. You don't have to um, be at your goal weight. People want to go on the journey with you guys. Like Victoria was saying, there's pros and cons to both of it. Sometimes people might see me and say, you're at your journey already. You can't relate to me. Whereas someone can see someone else and be like, oh, they're on your journey. Or, you know, it depends who the person is. So there's something for everyone. And people are really open to you because actually Victoria and I were talking on a webinar the other day and I asked her if people treated her differently now in society because she had lost weight. And she said, you know what, they, she really didn't feel like they had. And she said, like, we put a lot of impressions out there and we think we know what people are thinking when we might be wrong about that. So I think when a lot of people think you need to be at your goals yet, I think that's something that might just be what you're thinking, what you're putting on someone else. But trust me, people are attracted to passion. People are attracted to energy and life. And if you have that, it doesn't matter what your, what your goal body is if you're, if you're there yet. It matters if you're working towards something because people are attracted to energy. And you don't have to be a salesperson. I don't know anything about sales. I still don't know, I want to know anything about sales. So what should you be? You need to be someone who, who cares about people, who who wants to change people's lives, who is, you know, committed to being on your journey to, you know, working out, following the program, drinking your Shakeology or some of the, the performance drinks and who wants to improve themselves because it's not just about getting fit with your body. It's about your mind too. It's about talking to other people and being able to fill your own soul. Like I get up at 445 every day, guys, because I read and I meditate and I fill my, my body, my brain, my soul. I fill it up with everything I need to be able to give back to people because I can't help other people unless I'm filled up inside. And it's my soul too. It's not just, you know, my body and working out. It's so much deeper than that. So um, ooh, let me go to the next one. So what are some of the benefits? And these, this is what I like. The fringe benefits are amazing especially after um, being an attorney where I fought traffic and had to deal with the office politics and, you know, being a woman in a, in a guy's world and all that stuff that I didn't want anymore. And you get to set your own hours. I mean, you guys, I couldn't get up. I could hardly even get to work by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And I had to work all night long because I had no passion and I couldn't stand it. And here I'm getting up at 445, sometimes without an alarm because I want to get up and there's so many people I need to help. There's so many amazing things that I need to do. And, um, that's, what's so cool about it. And I started when I was working full time as an attorney, when I was working till midnight and working all day on the weekends, but I was still able to do this and still able to build a business because when you're passionate about something, you find the time for it. And, um, that passion is what attracts other people. So, let me quickly tell you about the um, rewards. There's all like different recognition and shirts and all these little things you get. I actually just became a two-star diamond. So I got my bracelet. I got my shirt. I went on the cruise this year. Um, there's all different seminars and training and you're not doing it alone. There is something for everyone. And there is, um, you have such an opportunity for um, future growth. It's just, it's mind blowing guys. I didn't, and of course, you know, it's all about, it's all about um, the, what you put into it. But if you put into it, if you give at least an hour a day, you are going to feel um, so much more from it. 
and you're going to see so much more on a financial side. Um, so the support we have, they have, you see these infomercials, right? I know you guys have seen these infomercials all over the place. Beachbody does that. It's like they're doing the marketing for us and people are like, people come to me and ask me, oh, I saw the 21 day fix infomercial, you know, tell me about it because they know I'm a coach. So there's all this marketing that's out there for us. There is a, you know, a wake up call. There's, there's training. There's a lot guys. And we have the tools for you to be successful, which is so cool. And um, Team Dynasty, that's Scotty's team. He's got an amazing team. And someone who invited you on this call is from Team Dynasty. And we, especially our team, is just a real amazing one. We have this weekly call. Um, we have different, you know, groups and training and Facebook pages. And uh, we have an app now. And there's just so much going on. And there's so many opportunities to help others. And so let me get into the dollars because I know some of you want to know. So when you get a challenge pack, that's what's called like bundled savings. So that's really where you save the most money. You get your fitness program, you get your shake, and you get to get the trial membership of On Demand. On Demand is amazing. That's like all I use right now. It's like over 3,000 workouts and workouts that are only on demand. It is so good. And so when you do that, you, um, if you get the challenge pack, your coach fee is waived. So that's really cool. The $40 fee. And if you're military, you don't pay any fees or if you're a vet. So talk to the person who asked you to be here. So that's the very best way to join, um, as a coach. That's what I tell everyone to do. And then there is a monthly fee. Uh, I believe it's $16.95 now. Um, even though there's a monthly fee, it's still cheaper to get Shakeology as a coach. So you can join check out, you can join Beachbody just for the discount and you're going to be getting a discount even though there is a monthly fee or you can do it as a hobby, you know, here and there, or you can do it like I'm doing it and being a business builder. And my goal is to earn as much as I did as an attorney and I'm on track to do that this year and I just can't wait. It's going to be um, an amazing feeling doing something that I love and making money for it. So the fee covers all the customer support. So it's not like some of these other companies where you have to spend like $6,000 to get product and like store it in your garage and like have all these like pop-up parties everywhere because you want people to buy it from you and get that investment off of you. We don't have that investment. We have $40 and Beachbody ships everything for you. They have customer service and everything. All you need to do is care about the person who joined up with you and you need to get them results by helping them, inspiring them, and showing them the tools. Um, let me go to this next one. Is this the same one? Okay, it's the same girl. So as you're listening to me, to me right now, I want you to just think about, think about how it would change for you to have accountability. You guys, I don't know if I would have stuck to this working out as long as I did if I wasn't a coach. It is something that I, when you have people that are relying on you and they're looking to you as an example, that's accountability. And maybe you don't want that, but I'm telling you, you're going to want it if you want to hit your fitness goals. And think about who in your life right now might need a change. Their job, they're not happy with their job. They have weight to lose. They have no energy. They're waking up tired and they're drained and they're negative. Just think about those people in your life and, and how their life can change. Um, and think about what your goals and dreams are. You know, there comes a point when we get older sometimes that we stop dreaming and we stop thinking that things are possible for us. But you guys, I have hope again. And I lost my hope. I didn't have hope for such a long time. I just resigned myself to the fact that I chose my path in life and I have to live it. And I don't feel that way anymore. I have hope. I know my dreams can come true. and. I know that sounds touchy feely, but it's, it's a crazy, wonderful thing when you know um, your dreams can come true. So you guys, I want to stop sharing my screen for a second. And I just want to see if anyone has any questions. Okay, I see some things over here. If anyone has any questions, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, we're getting late and we're going to be ending the call soon. If anyone has any more questions about Victoria, go ahead and tell us. I just want you guys to know that I didn't think I would ever be here doing a webinar like this for you. I was the biggest person against Beachbody coaching. I knew what it was. I didn't join. 
I didn't, I, I actually didn't know what it was. I thought I knew what it was. I knew about it for like four years before. And I was like, I, you know, I try not to look back and say, why didn't I do it then? Because everything's meant to happen for a reason. And I wouldn't be the person I am now without having these experiences. But I want you guys to know that there's some real merit here, not just for financial reasons, but for, for spiritual, emotional, mental reasons. Um, there's just some real merit here. So I see we have another question for you, Victoria. What if someone needs to lose 50 pounds or more, but they don't want to count calories? What would you say to them? Now, did you start counting calories in the beginning, Victoria? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do about 21 day fix. I may never have. Um, I would really, the, the, um, they, they come with portion containers and it teaches, it tells you everything that, um, you know, it, it teaches you how to eat a balanced diet. So you really don't need to count calories with her program. So yeah, that's actually a good point. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm drawn to the 21 day fix because um, I've never been a good, my husband's always had to scale out and measuring stuff. It's like, I can't do that stuff like that. So it's in me and I just don't feel comfortable letting that go. It's my control. It's oh, you still weigh? I still, um, use my fitness pal and way. Yeah. Yeah. I still do. No, I like my fitness pal too. And I think you can totally use it with 21 day fix. Cause I'm doing both of them now. And so, um, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy both of them. I too. just saw someone post, they would run out of meal ideas, but the best thing about the internet is there's no way possible. No, I'm kidding. No, there, <laughs> you so know what's on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, there is the 21 Day Fix cookbook now I called The it. Fixate, and yeah. my husband likes cooking. For me, I can do grilled chicken on the Foreman Grill, nuke vegetables, put them in the me bin to be done. Me but too. Yeah. some people like having meals. 21 Day Fix cookbook is amazing. Team Beachbody, the recipes on there, they're all for 21 Day Fix. On the bottom, it tells you which bins to use. There is no ways, they're, they're constantly coming up with that, and now... On Sundays, I do 21 day fix meal prepping and there's all different meal preps. I just did like a Mexican food one, which had a lot of spices and seasoning. So it was great for sure. Um, um, someone, someone asked about how you get people involved in challenge groups. Um, I guess I'll answer that one. I, I do all different kinds of prizes and, and different, um, things to engage people. I have, like when Beachbody has sales, I load up. See all my count, my sh um, shelf right there? That's loaded with prizes. And I give away cups and shirts and everything like that because I want people to feel special. I want people to feel engaged and have a little competition. So I do different things like that. And I message people. And I feel like my goal as a Beachbody coach is when someone tells me they're going to get a program and they buy a program, I want to make sure I take them all the way through it and, I, and I'm going to be there for them anyway. And normally in the beginning, I ask how you want me to contact you. And then um, if you want me to keep bothering you, I will. And I do. <laughs> so, okay, awesome. Well, I think that is it. Let me see if, um, thank you guys so much for attending. I really, um, enjoyed all the engagement we had here. Uh, Victoria, thank you so much. You are a true inspiration. And I will hand it back over to Scotty now. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Awesome. <clears throat> thank you, Lori and Victoria. And uh, Gabby said she's proud of you for crying, Lori. <laughs> I say that because I was super emotional as I was walking, as I was working through the beginning of my journey and, and leaving my job. You know, it's like, in the moment of going through those great transitions where you find something you truly love and you're transitioning into it. And <clears throat> Lori wasn't quite to that point yet. She was still in the attorney mindset thinking about coaching. Uh, but it's awesome to see uh, how much your life changed. And in Victoria, it's been a, a blessing uh, hearing about your story. And I know you're going to help a ton of people. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited that you guys all came on here and, and I try to keep up with the messages on the Facebook live uh, video chat thread as well uh, but uh, we're excited for you guys all to be a part of this journey with us whether it's uh, just for your health reasons or if you you've known there's something better out there for you 
uh, where you, you know, I, I think the number one thing that people want in their life is to feel like they matter and do something that, that matters with their life. And that's how I truly felt with Beachbody coaching, even when I worked a full-time job. Uh, but I can't tell you uh, how blessed I feel. I've been a full-time Beachbody coach now for four years, uh, taking care of um, my parents are also uh, retired and work for us to help as many people as we possibly can. And I have five kids and, you know, all of them are under nine and I just can't express um, how much uh, it's meant to me to be able to be a stay at home dad with those little kids uh, while they're this young and to be able to teach them to eat healthy. They're, they're doing 22 minute hardcore right now with my wife and they're on their second week. My daughter came and she's like, my tummy hurts. And I was, I was thinking she was sick. It was actually her abs because she's doing uh, all those sit-ups with Tony Horton. So uh, it's more than just a, a financial thing. It's about truly living a healthier lifestyle and teaching those around you. So uh, we're excited to have you guys join our team and be a part of a challenge group and uh, reach out to the person that invited you to this call, like Lori said, and they'll help you with any questions that you have. So we'll see you guys later.